beautiful humans, hello and welcome. I'm so, so glad that you are here. Both of us are so thankful that you're here and I'm so excited about what we're getting to talk about with y'all today because today we're getting to talk about singleness and I think that sometimes whenever we see the title or the topic of singleness, some of us who are in relationships will kind of shut down or turn it away and think, Oh, that's not for me. But I just want to encourage you to stay because regardless of what season you're in, we truly believe that this message from the Lord that he's put on our heart is going to encourage you in whatever season you're in, whether you're um, in a season of singleness, you're dating, you're engaged, you're married, you're where, like truly wherever you are because God's word meets us wherever we are. And we also want y'all to know up front that we are not sharing this message with you because we are perfect or because we've got it all figured out or we've got it down pat, but we do want to share what we're about to share with you because as we are choosing to daily walk with the Lord, we are discovering truly how life-giving and how fruitful it is to walk in His Word and to walk, walk in accordance with His His will. And so we want to share with you just tips on what does that even look like so that you can experience and taste and see how good He is too. Yeah, and even this world that we live in, there's a lot of different definitions of what it is like to be in a relationship. And you always hear in these songs or in these movies that I can't live without you or uh, you complete me and all these things. But man, being in a relationship is not meant to be a puzzle piece. The only puzzle piece that only one person can fit or anything like that. It's, man, you are whole in God and you get to have a life partner someone that is there with you no matter what and gets to love you and a, a helper to go along with you in this thing called life and gets to do it with you and enjoy the good times and the bad times but man they're not your life they don't complete you you can live without them all these different things yeah it's easy to hear what people say and hear what society says and think that it's true when you don't know what God says. So when society says, oh, you need a relationship in order to know that you're pretty, or yeah. you need to be in a relationship in order to know that you're enough, or you need to be in a relationship and then you'll be happy, then all of your problems will fade away, then everything will work out. And whenever you don't know that God says, in me you lack no good thing. Whenever you don't know that God says, in you you have life and you have it ab in and you have it abundantly. He like he truly is our shepherd and in him we shall not want. And it's only in him. It can't be found in a person. But when you don't know God's character and when you don't know what he says about you and what he says about who he is, then it makes sense that you're believing what your peers are telling you. And it makes sense that you're believing what television's telling you. And it makes sense that you're believing what society's telling you because if you don't know truth, lies sound like truth. Yeah. So even when in that single state before you're in a relationship, you just have to be solely founded and whole in God. And see, even whenever God created everything, in the very beginning, he created man and woman. And see, man was created first, and he saw that man was, he was sad alone. Now, he didn't make man incomplete or anything like this, and then only, uh, only the woman could complete the man or anything like this. God created the man solely complete. And knowing that he could rely on God for everything, but he saw that there was a that he needed a helper. He needed someone to do life with him. And that's when he created woman. So God did not create us to solely rely on another person, to be complete by that other person. We are complete and made new in the image of God. And so we we are solely, whenever we rely on him then we are made complete and made whole. Not whenever I'm with Emma. See, I want to be with Emma. I, I want to do life with Emma, but I don't need Emma. She's mm -hmm. not the person that I have to rely on for me to be happy. She's not the person that if Emma's upset, then I'm upset. If Emma's happy, then I'm happy. It's not that way. It's that I'm 100% no matter what because I'm, I'm solely counted on God. And if Emma's having a bad day or if I'm having a bad day, it's not throwing the other person off, but we're there to pick the other person up and have them look at how amazing God is and how you can rely on God for everything, but we still get to do life together. And that's just the grace of God. Oh, it's so good. So when we're talking about singleness and being in that season, what's so beautiful about the season of singleness is you get to like grow in who did God make me to be? And what does it mean to be a solid me in Christ? Because I'm telling you that when you get in a relationship, 
that person is not going to complete you. That person is not going to make you whole. But whenever you are going into a relationship and you're solid in who you are in the Lord, you're able to love that person well. And even whenever they may not respond the way you wanted to or the relationship didn't turn out the way you thought it would, you're still able to be whole because that relationship wasn't the, the thing that determined whether or not you were secure. And so people, people will let you down. And so what an incredible time of singleness to realize that, man, God is so good that He not only wants to meet my every need, but He does meet my every need. And He overflows my cup. And out of that, I can go love people well and I can enjoy the relationships around me. And I can enjoy when I'm not in a romantic relationship because that isn't the source of my happiness. Yeah. And even in Exodus, um, you see that the Israelites are lost in the wilderness. Now they have the leader, Moses, but they're lost in the wilderness. And God says, I will lead you. I will lead you by a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of clouds by day. And all this stuff. So we are solely relying on God for everything. We're not relying on Moses, our leader, to do things for us. We're not relying for him to complete us or anything like this. We are solely chasing after God and seeing him and following him. See, if Moses left, we still have God. If mm -hmm. Emma leaves, I still have God. Without Emma, without this titles or anything around me, I am still a fully, faithfully obedient follower of Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's who makes me whole. That's who makes Josh McDaniel up. Not just because I'm a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a son or all these other things, but I can chase after God, just like they were solely reliant on God in the wilderness, that they, whenever they asked for food, God would provide them food. Whenever they ask for directions, God would provide them for, with directions. We need to be solely reliant on God, not reliant on our relationships or, or our friendships or all these other things around us. Is that God, man, I am made complete in you. I, mm. I want to be in relationships with people because we are made to be in relationships with people. It's great to be able to talk with one another and be able to talk through problems with one another. But man, I have a heavenly father that wants to listen to me, that wants to help me, and that provides for me every single day. Yeah, yeah. And you may be thinking, okay, I'm, I'm not single, so how does this apply to me? You may be in a relationship and you may not be in a season of singleness, but you still are an individual. And regardless of what season you're in, you're, you're, you're single in who you are. And, and that's something so beautiful to embrace. And I also want to acknowledge a question that we've gotten a couple yeah. times is, and that question is, okay, what do I do when I'm in a season of singleness and my all of my friends around me are in relationships? Like, how do I go about walking in that gracefully? And I just want to encourage you that there is something so freeing and so beautiful about being able to celebrate other people in their seasons when it doesn't look like the season you're in and you're fully content in your season. Like, there's something so cool about it. I remember when me and Josh first started dating and it meant the world to me when my friends around me who aren't in dating relationships would come up to me and ask me how me and Josh were doing. Or they would text me when me and Josh were going on a date night and tell me just have, have the best time. Like they were so encouraging, they were involved, they were supportive of our relationship, they spoke life into our relationship and so, not only is it freeing and beautiful for you when you're content in your season of singleness, but it's also very encouraging and uplifting for your friends around you who are in relationships in their season too. Yeah, that's so good. Whenever I was reading this book called Mingling of Souls by Matt Chandler, I highly suggest you read it. It's about dating and marriage and all the stuff in between. Um, and it's, tar it's talking about it and how the most important relationship you will ever be in is your relationship with God. See, you first have to focus on your relationship with God before you can focus on anything else. Mm -hmm. And whenever you see, whenever you open up the Bible and you see all that God is in your relationship with God, then you will fully understand grace. And you'll fully see that the grace that God has for us. And what that teaches me is that, oh yeah, God has grace for us, but it also shows me of how I can have grace to Emma. And I can see the patience that God has for me and all of how I keep on sinning, but he keeps on forgiving me and is patient with me. And that teaches me how to be patient with Emma. But see, I would not know how to be patient, how to be gracious, how to be merciful of all these different things and how to be right 
without being solely founded on God, without mm. going into his word and focusing on the most important relationship I have ever in my entire life is by a relationship with God. Doesn't matter what season of life you're in, doesn't matter what relationship you're in, whatever at all. Your most important relationship, your most important foundation is your foundation with Christ because that foundation will not be moved. That foundation is a firm foundation that is con that is constant no matter what. Yeah, and this is something that determines how all of your other relationships look. Yeah. Like, how your relationship with God is doing, it impacts every other relationship that you have. Mm -hmm. So if you're not solid in who God says you are and you're not secure in who He claims you to be, mm -hmm. then whenever you go into a dating relationship, mm -hmm you're going to be expecting that person to meet needs that only God can meet. Yeah. You're going to be expecting that person to fulfill desires in you that only God can fulfill. And not only is that going to leave you wanting more, not only is that going to leave you unsatisfied, mm -hmm. but that is putting an expectation on the other person that they cannot that they can't bear. And it's exhausting for the both of you, but I encourage you that whenever you are solely founded in Christ, when you're solely founded in His Word that does not return void, in His Word that is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path, in His Word that doesn't change, meaning your identity in Him doesn't change regardless of what other people say or what other people do, then you're able to step into a relationship and love them regardless of what their response is. You're able to love them regardless of what it looks like. You're able to love them be because God loved you first and you know that confidently. In Psalm 121, it's so good. It says, I lift my eyes up to the mountains and where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who is the maker of heaven and earth. That is where our help comes from. Just as Josh was saying that God is our pillar of fire by night and our cloud by day, He is where our help comes from, not people. People are going to let me down, but my relationships with people are fruitful. They are life-giving. They are abundant, and they're what God intended them to be when I am walking in the truth of who God says that I am, when I am walking with the reality that His relationship is priority in my life. And I realize that Maybe some of you are just so hungry to be in a relationship. But I realized this is whenever, before I even started dating Emma, I went through a long season of singleness. Both of us were in a long season of singleness. Um, and it was just, it was crazy because we got to solely rely on God in that time. And man, my relationship grew deeper than it ever did. But I realized this, because I was always worried about the relationship. I was always burned out. I don't want to be in a relationship, I don't want to be in a relationship. But the moment I stopped caring I was in a relationship or not, or that I stopped worrying about if I was going to be in a relationship, was the moment that God blessed me with Emma. It was the moment that I got to meet Emma, and I realized it's like, that's the grace of God. See, God wants to give you relationships with man. You just have to let go, trust in God, read His Word daily, and know, know who the King is, who your Father is. Man, He wants to bestow grace upon you and give you mercy and mercy every morning. And He loves you. But all we have to do is be solid in Him and yeah. trust Him. Because He's made everything beautiful and appropriate in its own time. Yeah. Like the season that you're in is not wasted. The Lord, He has hemmed you in both behind and before, and He has marked out the boundaries of your lands. He is He is faithful, and He has made your lot secure. Therefore, you can... You can be confident in the season that you're in. And so don't let your season of singleness be a time where you're driving to be whole in the Lord so that you can be in a relationship yeah. one day. But let your drive to be in a relationship with the Lord be because you want to be in a relationship yeah. with the Lord. If you're in a season of dating, drive to be in a, in a relationship with the Lord because you want to be with the Lord. Yeah. If you're engaged or married, want to be with the Lord because you want to be with the Lord and because you know that that's the most important thing that you will ever invest in and that will overflow into whatever relationships you're in one day that will overflow into whatever season you're in one day because when you seek him first everything else that you need will be given we have this just two books two books yeah. that are amazing um, I read it I've read it three times um, for, and there's two different ones, so for girls and for guys. So for the guys, it's captivating. Um, or excuse me, Wild at Heart, my bad. Yeah. Um, for the guys, it's Wild at Heart. And it talks about 
a guy. It talks about a man. It talks about what makes a man a man um, and how to treat a woman and how to accept her responsibility and lead courageously and expect the greater reward and reject passivity um, because we are men of God and how he calls us to lead. Um, and it's an amazing book that shows and speaks a lot into what a godly relationship looks like. Yeah, and the one that he mentioned, Captivating, that's for the ladies, and it's so good. It talks about what God intended a woman to be and how he made women in his image and what does it look like to walk with him intimately and what does it look like to unveil the beauty that he so purposefully and fearfully and wonderfully knitted within you and how when you're walking in your identity in the Lord, man, your relationships with people, they're just... They're just beautiful and they flourish because our God is a God of relationships. And whether it be friendships or it be dating relationships that turn into marriage, God made us to do life with people. Mm -hmm. And whenever you are solid in who you are in the Lord, and that comes from spending time with Him, spending time in His Word, prayer, and spending time with godly people, mm -hmm. then your relationships will be blessed because of it. Yeah. We love you! <laughs> See you guys later.